Hey everybody, it's Captain CA from Flats Class YouTube. In today's lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about snook fishing. I know, it's still tarpon season, but there are days when the tarpon aren't running because you've got west wind and dirty water. And what do we do? We go snook fishing. So let me show you some of the tools. So let's talk about the baits first. When I snook fish in the summertime, I'm usually fishing around some of the shallow passes that go out to the beach because I'm looking for some wind protection. And many of those passes are somewhat shallow. So I've got four baits here that do a really good job fooling the snook. And let's cover them right now. One is going to be the trusty bucktail jig. This is a one ounce spro jig. Now you can, you can accommodate a lot of different depths within one ounce. This one gets down really quick, but if you're fishing shallower, like some of the swash channels and the fish are only in three or four feet of water, just go down to a quarter ounce. But one ounce does a really good job fishing around some of the passes around here, and it's usually one of my number one choices. Two, this is a Grass Kickers. This is the opening night color from Z-Man. It's a really good color. I use it in the 3 8 jig head to a half ounce jig head. Uh, this is an excellent setup for fishing anywhere, let's just say from three, four feet of water out to eight to 10 feet of water if you let it get down deep enough. But it's got a great swimming action. All the Elaztec material stuff is very, very soft. So you can work this with the tide, catch a lot of fish with the grass kickers. It's an excellent bait for snook. Now when I'm fishing much deeper and I'm, I'm looking to get down, the new Mag Swims from Z-Man does a good job. And I've got that on a one ounce uh, chin locks. This is a 10 aught hook and it does a fantastic job. You even catch tarpon on this one. Uh, but it has a great swimming motion. I use it a lot at night around the lights, uh, around the bridge fenders and things like that. You don't always have to fish it deep. You can fish it around the lights and do, do a pretty good job around the bridge fenders. So check out the mag swims. That's an excellent one. When I'm doing a little bit of sight fishing around lights or even around some of the little swashy channels near the corners where there's current, I've been using the new Skin series. Uh, it comes in three different ones. This is the, the pinfish color, but the, the thread fin color or pilchard color works just as well. It does a magnificent job. This is a cool bait to use. You see that I, I've switched out with inline hooks. The inline hooks give you a more solid connection. It also allows you to pull a lot harder uh, to leverage the fish away from cover. Now let's talk about the rod and reel setup that we're using for all this. All right, one of, the, one of the rods I really like to pass fish with or fish for bigger snook with and throw these heavier baits is the pass special rod. This is in the Falcon Coastal Clearwater series. This is a solid choice. It's a 15 to 30 pound rod. Really allows you to throw baits up to three ounces. Uh, I use it a lot even for tarpon fishing, throwing artificials. Got a lot of tip. Um, it's perfect for every scenario. I've got it matched up with a Florida Fishing Products 5000 series reel. This is the Osprey 5000. Does a fantastic job. It's very robust. Uh, if you look here closely, I've got 40 pound leader. That's right, 40 pound leader. If you want to catch big snook, you got to have line diameter. And 40 pound monofilament leader does a good job. So I've probably got about three to four feet of, of this. I've got it tied with an Albright knot. And then above that, I have a Bimini twist. And a lot of the reason for that overkill is I'm fishing for snook in zones where tarpon are likely to be as well. So if I stick a big tarpon, I'm gonna need those knots that will endure a long battle. So to wrap it up, these snook fishing baits will complement some of your already tarp and tackle that you have in your skiff. So why not be able to be prepared to catch both fish? Many days when you have west wind and dirty water here on the west coast of Florida, this does an excellent job of giving you a good plan B. Captain C.A. Richardson signing off from Flats Class YouTube. Hope this puts a few more snook alongside your skiff this summer.